A Kokomo woman is dead weeks after surviving a brutal stabbing by her estranged husband. She had been released from the hospital and was enrolled in physical therapy when she collapsed and died after a shopping trip last week. The Wynn spoke to Jessica Roberts' family as they try to process the sudden loss just when they thought the worst was over. Nathan Roberts spent time at this funeral home getting everything ready for his sister's funeral on Thursday. There's just a lot, you know. So that's my, you know, that was my sister. He described Jessica as a caring, strong, and independent person. She was rebuilding her life and, you know, taking care of what she needed to and not asking anybody for help. He says she was always positive and put others before herself. She saw the good in everybody and obviously, you know, we may not, but she never gave up on anybody. Jessica Roberts survived after being stabbed more than 50 times by her strange husband. She shared this update on Facebook from her hospital bed last month, saying, quote, what is done is done. We will prevail through this tragedy. She didn't want nobody to feel sorry or, you know, you know, make a big deal of everything. She just wanted to do her thing, get better. Roberts says she was eager to get back to work. She was an English teacher at Carroll High School in Flora and had recently accepted a new teaching job in Marion. She was all about teaching. She loved her students. I mean, she was always there for them. Roberts knows there's nothing he could do to bring his sister back, but says she's now in a better place. God got a good one. Well, again, that was V and Wynn reporting with our sister station, Wish TV. Nathan Roberts says the family's primary focus right now is caring for Jessica's 10-year-old daughter. Police say she was tied up and made to watch the stabbing attack. A GoFundMe account for the family has raised $2,600 so far.